between TV, video games, and iPads, more kids are spending less time outdoors and less time enjoying outdoor creatures. But as Dan Wardell discovered, Iowa State University's traveling insect zoo brings cockroaches, spiders, and a little bit of everything straight to the classroom. Here's his next behavior. If I try to pick him up by his head, what does he do? So you think he's trying to get away from me? Yeah. Yes. And Malachi. And Malachi. <laughs> now tell me this. Why do you Jenny Morgel is the energetic entomologist who coordinates Iowa State University's traveling insect zoo. She carries a collection of critters into classrooms to give kids a hands-on lesson about arthropods and why they play important roles in our environment. So today you guys are gonna get to be an entomologist. And you might fall in love with bugs like I did when I was in second grade. I love bugs. They are super awesome. Okay. Yeah, this is what it looks like. The general thought about bugs is that they're gross, they're creepy, they, you know, we should kill them, we should get rid of them. And I want them to take a step back and to look at, you know, how cool they are and, you know, their importance in the world and, and that we can't live without them. Now, your first job when you get the millipedes is to find the head, and your next job is to count the legs. Inside those black dots are little tiny holes that it breathes through. You're obviously a very animated presenter. The kids love you, but you get a lot back from the kids too. Yeah, I feed off of their energy. I actually, I love it whenever the kids are saying, ew, gross, ew, you know, I, I love that because then it's like, oh, now I'm challenged. So let's see how excited I can get them. Who wants to hold it? No, 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 no. I'll help you, you wanna hold it, Grace? Hey, we'll do this one. Why don't you put your hand right here on mine and then we'll do it together. Oh. So tell us how the whole turn the TVs off and go outside and play and explore nature, how does this all fit in? Well, because I'm bringing the outside into them and you know, it seems that more and more kids are not spending a lot of time outside, especially in, in um, urban areas. It gives the kids a chance to see something that they would normally not see and then become familiar with it and even comfortable with it. And perhaps then that will encourage them to, instead of hanging out inside, you know, to go outside and to see what's, what's out there. Just getting in touch with nature, you know, I think it's very important that, that we are doing that. Now, if we first look at the emperor scorpion in my right hand, you will see it has a very big tail on the end, doesn't it? And at the end of that tail is a stinger. Tell us about Rosie. So Rosie is a Chilean rose hair, and um, she comes from Chile, which is in South America. And Rosie's been with the zoo um, for about 10 years. She's about 10 years old. And um, she's just very docile. Now what is that right there? Web. That is her web, that's right. My favorite bug was the tarantula, because I never touched a tarantula before. It was my first time. And I never, ever saw a tarantula before. Now what did you learn about the three parts of an insect? Do you remember what those were? I already know. What, what head, are the, thorax, abdomen. What are the three parts again? Head, thorax, abdomen. How do you know if you've had success in your programs? Well, I gauge that by the reaction of the kids. When kids are seeing something for real and they're touching it and they have all these emotions, you know, they have fear, they have excitement, they have, you know, whatever else they're feeling, sparks something else in their brain and they're going to retain that information more, I think. They're going to they're gonna hold on to that and it's gonna be a memory that they have for the rest of their life. I think that will encourage them to learn more about it. The Insect Zoo travels all across the state educating thousands of Iowans each year. Maybe a few of them will want to become entomologists someday. If you'd like to learn more about the program, go to our website, iptv.org slash Iowa Outdoors.